Good evening. Tonight I'm going to do a quick review on Lawn Milo Duquette's Low Magic. Low Magic, it's all in your head. You just have no idea how big your head is. Um, I read this last night, and I, I well, I guess I finished it up this morning. And um, I do like the book. I don't, I wouldn't put it as a must read for people. But I, I did enjoy the book, and um, I'm glad I have another one of his books. I like his writing style. He's led such an interesting life that I really enjoy reading his different experiences and what he has to share. And although he's not necessarily teaching magic per se, you can pick up some good stuff just reading uh, what he shares from his experiences. So, um, let's see. I thought the best thing to do would be to quickly review the table of contents once again and um, just go over a couple of things I highlighted. I'll just share that. So, he has the prologue, which is talking about the different stories he's sharing. Zero, which is first let's talk about fear. Then, the dogma and rituals of low magic, the formula of Solomon, the law of attraction, the power of intent, and my date with Linda Kaufman. That was a cute story. Family secrets, my planetary talismans. Um, that was really interesting, the planetary talismans one. A weekend alone with the spirits of the tarot, which that was quite interesting. Um, you would have to be familiar with Enochian magic to a certain extent to follow along with that chapter. But primarily he's talking about um, the tarot deck that he worked on. The only other tarot deck he has worked with is the Toth deck. And um, when he got the first deck of his tarot deck that he made, he spent a good, I believe it was three days, um, working with it. A Midsummer Night's Curse is Chapter 7. Astral Projection, Traveling the spirit vi in the Spirit Vision. That's not what Invocation is about. And that's what Invocation is all about. Pop Goes Ganesha. The Rabbi's Dilemma. The Exorcism of Our Lady of Sorrows. And the epilogue is, it's all in your head. You just have no idea how big your head is. And then he shares um, in Appendix 1 some bits from his brother's book. Appendix 2 is sharing apostolic, apostolic succession, um, how he became a bishop. He's a bishop many times over. But not the type of bishop most people if they grew up going to church would be familiar with I think than the bibliography and the index so you're really looking at roughly 190 pages it's not a super huge book so does it seem like that music's getting loud let me turn it down <laughs> sorry about that hold on okay I turned it down You'd think I'd have these audio things figured out by now, but nope, still working on it. So I didn't highlight a whole lot in this book. I first highlighted something starting on page 33. And here you can see he says, Magical intent is more a matter of seeing what you truly want so clearly that your vision, indeed your love of the vision, creates a living entity. Faced with the birth of this new cosmic citizen on the creative plane, the universe has no alternative but to rearrange conditions on the material plane to accommodate the complete manifestation of this now inevitable object or event. Here, he works with Ganesh a lot, so that's why you'll see a lot of these... Um, He's talking about invoking and banishing, working with Ganesh. Uh, let's see. Mm. 
Okay, here, chapter 5, this was interesting, where he talks about making his planetary talismans. I thought that was an interesting chapter. And um, here he's talking about how he purchased how to make and use talismans by Israel Regardi. He did uh, um, actually know Israel Regardi and uh, has done work for and with him. Let's see. He does reference um, the supreme invoking ritual of the pentagram and hexagram quite a bit. Here he's talking about the different talismans he made and the different experiences he had working with that. Uh, mostly it's, this book is just sharing some stories he went through. Let's see, here's something I highlighted. I thought this was nice. There's only one happiness in life, to love and be loved. By George Sand. Um... um not the best review, I'm, I'm telling you, <laughs> because it's personal stories and I just highlighted things that I thought were cool quotes or things that I liked the way he worded them. So here's another one. Yeah, I'm not going to keep going through it. Basically, it's a, an interesting collection of stories in his life not a whole lot of like ceremonial magic. He is asked to come um, do sort of an exorcism for an all-girls Catholic school and he talks about that. He talks about working um, on his tarot deck. He talks about creating planetary talismans and what his experience with that was. He does refer to Enochian magic quite a bit and uh, the rabbi's dilemma, that was an interesting story. He was asked to help a rabbi's son and daughter-in-law. So that was interesting. So it's just really a collection of interesting stories. Of the books I have of his, I wouldn't say it's my very favorite, but at the same time, I wouldn't say I regret purchasing it. I'll just sum it up and leave it there. If you're interested in his writing style, um, you know, and you want to purchase just an interesting quick read, definitely it's it's worth having. I'll say that. So right now I'm going through Serpent of Wisdom by Donald Tyson. I do enjoy Donald Tyson's books as well. You can see here I'm a little less than halfway through the book. I hope to have it, well I will have it done by tomorrow. This book I am loving. Loving, loving, loving. Uh, it will be a book I'm quite sure that I would recommend for anybody. Anybody and everybody. But I'm only halfway through, so I'm going to finish reading it. Um, I was going to say, maybe you can see I've highlighted quite a bit in here. But I guess it doesn't really look like I have that much. Anyway, I'll do a better review of this book. There's much more to say about this book. Um, if you stuck with me this far in this review, I know it's not the best one I've ever done. It's just, this book, it is what it is. It's a good book. It's not the greatest book ever. It's not a must read for anybody. Um, and I'm just going to leave it there. I hope that you've had a, a lovely Monday and a good start to your week. And I thank you for watching. And as always, I wish everybody many blessings. And now it's time for me to get back into that book, which I'm loving that book. And um, I'll see y'all soon, so take it easy. Bye.